Welcome everybody to my tutorial in Adobe Flash CS5. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a picture gallery. Um, first, I'm going to create myself a background. Uh, let's call this first layer background. I'm going to create myself a new layer. I'm going to call that thumbs. And one more layer called images. Next, I'm going to import my images. Go to import to library. And I have a few thumbnails and images selected. On the thumbnails layer, we're going to bring in um, all three thumbnails. And if I select them all at the same time, I can actually align them, which is a nice feature in uh, Flash CS5. Uh, next, we're going to um, bring in the first image of me, and I'm going to set well, let's do this. Let's set. Um, I'm pressing F6 here. I have three keyframes: one, two, and the third one here. And uh, for the first keyframe, I'm going to put the large image of me here. And for the second image, we have Rosaria Dawson here. Rosario Dawson, beautiful actress. And I'm just going to adjust the background here because just to cover up um, where the large image is overlapping. And for the third image, I have it set for the last keyframe here in this layer. Let me just do that one more time. I actually had the wrong layer selected right here. She's going to be on the third keyframe. And you can play around with the layout as much as or, or as little as you want, but I'm trying to do this as quick as possible for you guys. So there we have it. We have three thumbnails and we have three large images. So now to the important part. How do we make the uh, thumbnails uh, click and, and go to each image? Well, the first thing we're going to do is um, we have an action script layer here that I'm going to make. I'm pressing F6 for one keyframe and I'm going to type stop open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. And what this does is it stops the movie when it started. So if you don't do this, the movie is just going to keep looping and you don't want that. So that's the first thing. Now we're going to create ourselves another layer and we're going to call this action script. Now this is going to be the layer that um, all our action script for the buttons is going to be placed on. And the first thing I want to do uh, before getting to writing the action script is actually identifying the buttons. So I'm going to convert this to a symbol called uh, button1 and convert this to symbol button2. And again I'm just right clicking and clicking uh, convert to symbol and button3. So we want to click this uh, first button here, and we want to give it an instance name. And I'm going to call it thumb1 underscore btn. And then for the second one, thumb2 underscore btn. And I'm just choosing the name because um, it'll stand out to me as a button. And then thumb3. But you can really call it whatever you want. So now we have our three uh, buttons labeled. And we're going to come over here to... Um, the images, I'm just going to lock the thumbs here, but we're going to come over to the images and while I have it clicked, and this is something really cool in Flash, instead of counting the frames where you need to hit or where you need your uh, your movies to stop, we can actually label them. So for the first image, um, you know, I'll call it Jonathan. And then for the second image, uh, Rosario 1. Well, actually, just let's call it Rosario 2 because it's the second image. And then for the third one, we're going to label it as Rosario 3. So now let's uh, give the buttons uh, some action scripts so th they can actually um, be clicked. And the first thing we're going to do is come over here to the uh, top layer here called action script. And in my actions window, um, I'm going to begin writing the uh, action script. So let's call this button 1. 
and this is just for me to organize uh, the action script here. And we're going to go thumb1 underscore btn, and we're going to give it an event. So add event listener. This is a mouse event, and we're telling it when it's going to be clicked, it's going to get the first image. Next, we're going to give it a function, which we did before, it's called get first image. And the event, again, is a mouse event. And what do we want to do? We want the first button to go uh, when it's clicked to go to and stop on the frame that I labeled uh, Jonathan. So that's our first piece of uh, action script for the first um, for the first button. Now I'm going to copy this. I'm going to call this button 2 and I'm just changing the name based on uh, the second button so it's a different action here uh, we want to get second image again we're going to change that to second and I call the second frame Rosario 2 we're going to copy all of this And for button three, it'll be number three here. And the command is get third image. And this was on the third frame for uh, Rosario three. Control enter test this. And there you have it. We have a working picture gallery. Um, actually, that second image is hovering a little too high. So let's come over here to the second image and just bring that down control enter and that looks better so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial in Adobe Flash CS5 uh, this is the fan page for the YouTube channel come over, thumbs up, show it some love and I'll see you guys in the next video